All right, so we're going to draw a triangle for problem number five. So for VEX problem number five, we're going to draw a triangle. Um, how to do that first, obviously, you're going to bring your pen tool in. Now, this is a little more complicated than some of our other programs, but uh, it shouldn't be bad. If you want it to be a different color, you remember you got to drag in your different color. So like I want to drag in blue, I'll drag in blue. And I got my triangle there. So there is some math here, but it's not too bad. I'll even allow you to use a uh, triangle calculator if you don't feel like doing the trig. This is very basic. Uh, so what we're going to do is, you know, you can get a triangle calculator out here. I'm just going to do a simple equilateral triangle. All sides the same, which means all angles are 60. Don't even have to figure any of that out. So I'm going to say 500 millimeters on my side. Look, it gives me all my sides are 60. Great. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do in the code here, I'm just going to drop uh, the robot in. I'm going to turn right, and I'm going to go 60 degrees. And if I hit play, you know, I'll see here, uh, the robot turns, and it's going to be going at a 60 degree angle here. Um, and actually, that looks extreme. If I want, I could actually do it at the 30 degree angle. So now it's going to look more like I want it to. So we're going to go off at 30, um, because coming up, we went up from here 60. Um, so like, if this is our 90 here, we actually came up 60, which means we'd only be rotating from here 30. So let's take that off. And we're going to drive forward. Uh, we're going to drive forward, we're going to drive forward, let's say 500. And here's the part where it's going to get a lot of people um, and why it's beneficial to watch the video. So we are going to draw, go forward for 500 and then we got to turn again. And that's the part where the math comes in and people hate the math. So I'm going to just drive you forward and show you how I'm going to get the answer for how far we want to turn, which is going to be 120 degrees. Uh, instead of 60. And you're like, why is it 120? Well, let's take a gander here. So if we hit start and we go, oh, sorry, I have to refresh. So I hit start, it goes to 30, it goes up, and it's going to go to the 120 pointing down. Why is it 120? Well, if we are going off of this direction, which was 60 degrees right here, so we got 60 degrees right there, Let's say the robot went all the way out here and we've got to go down this direction and this has to be 60 degrees. Our robot is pointing this way, meaning this line from here to here is 180 degrees. So when the robot turns, this angle plus this angle have to equal 180. So that's where I'm getting the 120 from. See, when we do the the 120 plus the 60 that we need, we are going to get uh, our correct angle. So I can come in here, erase all of that. I plug my variable in and I'm good to go. Now I can once again drive 500. And then when I get down to the bottom, I'm going to turn right again and it's going to be 120. Um, how do I know this? Well, it's the same logic. I went down this way. You know, let's make this a little longer here. You know, I came down here. And I want this to be 60 degrees. I'm coming down here. This outside line right here is at 180. That's the way my robot's going at that 180. You know, what well, plus 60 gets you to 180. It's 120. So that's how we figure uh, that out. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And then after we get that in there, we just have to drive our last 500 millimeters. And then I'm actually going to send the robot forward with the pen up just to get out of the way so you guys can see better. I'm going to drive forward for about, let's say, 300. And if I reset this, let's see how this looks. Going up, making my first 120 turn. 
and make my next 120 turn and we are going over just like so. So that is how you draw a triangle using a Vex VR. Uh, it's very simple and you could do it with any triangle. You would just have to uh, figure out your angles and your distances ahead of time, which either requires trig or you can just punch it into a calculator, which you're going to have to do for problem number two, where you do a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So for this, you know, you can set one angle to be whatever distance you want and just set in, you know, the other two variables and it'll give you a 30, 60, 90 and tell you uh, your two distances and your uh, angles. So from here you'd, you know, set your program up, you know, you'd set this up to be uh, 60 to start and then you'd go your 500 and then your rotation angle is going to change and that's what you got to figure out by yourself. So good luck and I hope this was helpful.